Oh, modern day dating. It's all about swiping left or swiping right, right? On all of these different apps, and there's an app for everything. Some of us can't find nothing. We just keep swiping left. Some of us, we don't really know what we want. Others, everything's right, baby. If we can get it in, we can get it in. Ain't that right, Rich? That's right. All right, we're gonna talk about all these dating app woes and seeing through them filters. <laughs> Let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. All right, welcome to the nightcap. I'm your host, Carolina Sanchez, and we got to dive into these dating apps because I don't know enough, but I am curious as hell. And I've got my friend Rich Williams back in the Woo! building. You were here for that guy's night. That's right. But you're here to talk with the girls. There you go. We've got Jan Salvador here for the first time. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. And your second half on Coffee Social, we've got Steph Rodriguez. Okay. All right, uh, uh, are you all single, ready to mingle? Mm. Are any of you in a relationship? What is y'all's status? Single. Single, okay. I'm single. Mm -hmm. I'm in a relationship. In a relationship. Okay, so do you know a thing or two about dating apps, or are you like me? Who knows absolutely nothing. I know a thing or two. I tried it, but it just didn't work. For it me. didn't work for you. Okay, does it work for anyone? <laughs> it depends on how you define work. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, what's your experience with dating apps, Rich? Uh, what I have found is that uh, you have to be very selective. You have to be very careful because ladies have all kinds of tricks of the trade. Yeah. Who are you like? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jan, come on. Challenge him, challenge him. What do you say? I saw him swiping on every single person. <laughs> that was just for TV. <laughs> okay, what's been your experience, Jan? Well, I really haven't had good experiences. It's been enough to get me off of the dating apps. Really? Mm. Yes. How long did you give it like a fair shot and how many apps would you say you used? Honestly, I didn't really do it that long. I've always been a more in-person type of gal. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I've, I've been on a few dates. Mm -hmm. From the dating apps? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's been the worst problem with it then? The worst would be a no-show. <gasps> like I've been on, like on my way, we'll talk on the phone and we're both on the way. I what? arrived to the restaurant, and then he never showed up. And then calls me maybe an hour later saying he can be there in 30 minutes. Mm, 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 <laughs> I was like, I've already what? been here for 30 mm, minutes. No, thank mm. you. I thought oh, you were on your he way. He was married. No, he no. was married. He was married. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that was. Okay, so Rich, what's been your worst experience? My <laughs> or have you had like a best experience? Oh, 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 oh okay, come on. <laughs> so many experiences. Uh, probably my worst experience was I matched up with this lady and um, we, she came out, we had a great time, um, went over to her house the next day and then I had to fly out, right? So I get up, put my stuff together, I tried to wake her up, her phone was ringing. She didn't answer her phone, she didn't wake up, okay? So I put my stuff together, phone was ringing again. She didn't wake up, didn't answer the phone. So I take my stuff out into the living room and I hear the door open, and her seven-year-old son walks in. <laughs> and then her ex-husband walks in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? What do you do? Yeah, first I'm thinking, I don't think I'm gonna make this flight. <laughs> yeah, oh no. What I did was, I went to the kitchen because I was gonna make sandwiches so I wouldn't have to buy food at the airport, and I grabbed the butcher knife. And that was the first time I've ever made a sandwich with a butcher knife. And I was just waiting for it to pop off, but he just went in, yelled at her a little bit, and then stormed out of the house. But okay. it could have gone so many other ways. My man said a butcher knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. How often did you see her again? Uh, no. Okay. I haven't seen her again. All right. You're in a relationship now, but you went through the dating apps. What yes. was the worst experience for you, Steph? <sighs> Oh, not I try to forget. I try to forget <laughs> this so hard. I'm, I'm so sorry. Can't. I'm bringing trauma right back to you. So. My worst one was there was this guy I started talking to on a dating app when I was trying it out, and we decided to go on a first date. Um, I get to the restaurant, and then he gets there, and he says that he forgot his wallet. Oh, <laughs> no! And he proceeds to be like, hey, you know, we should just, mm -mm. just get in my car, I'll go grab my wallet, and then we can come right back. 
And I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. But we sit and talk for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, sure, let's go grab your wallet. We can come right back. Instead of coming back to the restaurant, this guy takes us to the McDonald's drive through <laughs> And I come was on. like, I don't eat McDonald's. So in my head, I was just like, you got to be kidding me right now. <laughs> and he tries to like sweeten me up, like, oh, yeah, we'll just no, grab no, something no, casual, no, talk no, in the car. No, no. And I was just like so disappointed. I was like, I can't do this. What'd you oh. order? I didn't order anything. I don't eat McDonald's. <laughs> so I was like, I'm okay. Maybe just give me a Sprite. And then we literally talked for like 15 minutes. I was like, I just want to go back to my car. And I never Man. saw him after that. So. Oh. Cheap, that cheap, cheap, is cheap. absolutely horrible. Okay, I, I, need, to that. <laughs> I need to. Please don't do that, Rich, ever in your life. Okay, nah, and I nah. know you would. I know you mm -mm. would. Or would he? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all stay right there because we're talking about dating apps. And boy, it keeps going and going. You stay there. We'll be right back. I know dating apps are bad for me because I just said no to a woman's profile because she doesn't like mac and cheese. I was like, she doesn't like mac and cheese? Not for me. Can't be in my life. I need mac and cheese forever. What an insignificant reason to deny myself the potential of love. I could just eat mac and cheese and she doesn't have to eat it. <laughs> I mean, listen, I was with him in the first half and right. shocked in the second half. He lost me. He lost We're me. talking dating apps That's with weird. Steph, Jan, and Rich. I mean, I think if I was using a dating app and somebody mm -hmm. said they didn't like mac and cheese, I'd have that initial reaction of, hmm? well, something's wrong with you, because it's mac yeah. and cheese. I mean, like, that's I a universal comfort mm. food. I mean, I'd be, I'd be thrown off if it was pizza, but mac and cheese, I could, you know, I could dig it. Why? I mean, I love mac and cheese, but right. I'm just saying, I'm not going to not go out with somebody because they don't like mac and cheese. Yeah. Now, what, where I will swipe left is uh, moles. Moles? Moles? Yeah. Moles, like when I see like big moles. Oh, oh like if you see, oh, oh my <laughs> God. I can tell you what I swipe left on. <laughs> and it's people with no shirt on. Um, multiple guys in the photos, like multiple people in the photos. <laughs> Why? They can't have a bromance? They can't have yeah. that? Yeah, well, which boys? one are you? Yeah, which one are you? Oh, yeah. gosh. You get the, and, the and, main and, profile and, and page. And 99% of the time, it's the ugliest person yeah, what, in the photo. Yeah, what if your friend is hotter That's than you? The hot woman never posts <laughs> all her girls with her. Yeah. yeah. What if, you know, your friend looks better than you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's confusing. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right, so why would you swipe left stuff? <sighs> Obviously, you committed. Because please, I, boyfriend, realize that she's talking hypothetically. Hypothet <laughs> or in, the, in the past. Right. Honestly, I'm very picky. I'm a Capricorn, so we're very, we know what we want, and we know what we don't want. Mm -hmm. So like one of the big deal breakers for me is somebody who doesn't like to travel or has never left the country. Good one. That's Such a, a turn one. off. Very good one. Um, also somebody who seems like they don't really spend a, a lot of time out places. So like if you're just, all your selfies are like at home or something like that, I'm just like, what do you do in your free time? Because if mm. you just like to be a hermit, we can't be together because I like to go out. Mm. You like to travel and go out. I like out, to travel. So I like to go be. out. I'm a introvert but I'm also an extrovert so like I like to be out and about so if you just don't like that then it's like you no, wait for you. me okay. yeah but so definitely travel for sure we've heard about your moles time and time again <laughs> yeah, on this show. okay so what are other reasons that you would swipe left no body shot if they only if they only have headshots Oh. And I don't care how, I mean, you could look like Beyonce in the face. There's some women with skinny necks. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, he's doing it to himself. Okay? Am I, no, I'm just, you no, know? okay. So here's, no, here's the thing. I actually like them thick. I, I like them thick to, to, to in shape. But my thing is, if you're, if you're a big girl, there's a market for that. But what I don't like is the fact that you're trying to hide it. Mm. See what I'm saying? Why aren't you confident with who you are and what you're about? Jan? I like someone who is smart and intellectual. So okay. I like it when they fill out their profile and actually describe themselves, not just leave it blank mm. or are vague. What would be the ideal like, profile prompt from them? It would be, you know, they would list their job, their... Um, sign, astrological sign, their birthday, social security, credit card. <laughs> <laughs> she said what she said, okay? 
Okay. It's a scammer. <laughs> you got to know. You got to be informed. What about for you, Steph? The reasons to swipe right, honestly, other than what they've already said, which is top of the list for me, somebody who has good taste in music is mm. really important. Yeah. Because my dad's a musician, and I grew up around a lot of good music. So if I get in your car and you're playing like respectfully all these like new rappers like that you can barely understand <laughs> what they're saying, oh, it's gosh. a huge turn off for me. I have something to add to that. They have mm -hmm. to learn how to set the mood because mm -hmm. I remember I went on a date and we were riding in an old school classic convertible, you know, driving down Westheimer, looking and feeling good. But <laughs> he, all he kept playing was like old school rap. <laughs> and I was not feeling it. He was playing, what was he playing? Like, like how old school are we talking? Like Eminem. And like, I'm like, I'm, <laughs> this is not an Eminem type of ride. Can we change the music? <laughs> Eminem is a very anti-feminine vibe. I was, yes. No, we were both, we were both dressed. Not to just Eminem, one of the best rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but he's just not. Definitely. He wasn't the vibe for an old school convertible going music. down Westside. We were both dressed very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't the vibe. You know? My spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, he, he was like singing to the song. What song was it? I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> But you know, it's funny y'all bring up the music thing. It's actually a red flag for me if a woman says that she doesn't like reggae. Oh, yes, believe reggae. it or not. I love I've reggae. I've actually met people who, who don't like, like That's what I'm saying. Who doesn't like, that's like not liking pizza. Reggae is like the pizza of music. Well, it's like Everybody. mac and cheese in my opinion. It, exactly. But I mean, I'm with you on that. You know, like reggae, come on. Exactly. That's, if somebody tells me that their favorite artist has Lil in their name automatically, not messing <laughs> with you, or like, like. Oh no, Lil the, Wayne Banks. Okay, well, okay, yeah, that's Lil it. Wayne. Okay, he's the right, right, right. He's the, the apex Exception. of Lil. Everybody after that is kind of, you know, and then like. A like, lot of Houston like, rappers have Reggae music is like timeless. That's like, <laughs> you can get your family together and sing that, you know? Yeah. These artists, Sexy Reg, you can't get her grandkids together and go, Pound Town! <laughs> go to Pound Town! It's true. <laughs> I agree. Shut that ass playing. for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, y'all stay right there. We'll you be want right to see back. Doing that? No. no. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about dating apps with my friends Rich, Jan, and Steph. All right, we're about to play a little game. But first, I want to know, obviously, you've had some bad experiences. But what is the best app that you've been on? And which one has, like, the best potential, I guess, if it, since you're off of it? Rich, you got one? Yeah, uh, Bumble. That's where I met my ex-girlfriend. So, yeah. Yeah, I messed it up. It wasn't her fault. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is it good because she became an ex? No. Nah. Is it good because you found... It was good because I, I met her. You and met then someone. We, yeah, we got into an argument over COVID. So, it was it was so stupid. Oh, yeah. Those stupid she wanted arguments. me... I took two COVID tests and she wanted me to take another one. And I said, no. And then we didn't talk for a week. Okay, that's a different episode, different yeah. time. <laughs> for me, it would be millionairematch.com. <laughs> because... Because you want that money, honey. Yes, I mean, personality is number one, but money is number two. Mm. Okay, come on. <laughs> Keep our birdies. <laughs> Steph? I would say, for me, in the short time I tried it, was Bumble. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Bumble. I had a really good date on Bumble. Mm. Okay. Didn't turn into anything, but still. All right, the Bumble Pound. I gotta All right. Uh, <laughs> I do want to play a little game with y'all, because there's literally a dating app for everything. Mm. So I'm going to say the name mm. of an app, and you guys have to guess who the people is for. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's time for... Game Night! Game Night! <laughs> All right, first up, Sizzle. Hmm. Who's that for? That's, that's, uh, that's if you want to meet uh, people that cook. Yeah, I was going to say people who like to grill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically. Old, 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 old cat daddies that like to grill. <laughs> Jan, any guesses? I would say... Um, for like a sizzling, steaming hot relationship. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this is uh, connecting people who love bacon. Mm. Bacon? <laughs> yeah. What? Bacon. Yeah, I ain't lying to you. I ain't lying to you. <laughs> Next up, field. 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 
Okay, so that is an app. You want to date athletes? They say baseball players have no salary cap, so baseball players. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> she went straight to the money. <laughs> she we went straight Jen to the, and she owns straight it, to the money. Okay. Field, ooh. <laughs> Download. So this is actually for people who are non-monogamous. Oh, oh, oh play, play the field. Play the field. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Next Holly up, Amherst. we have a uh, Captain Cupid. That's Captain Cupid. Cupid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a gay site. A matchmaking website, maybe? <laughs> like where they, maybe you answer some questions and they match you up for, I don't, I have no idea. Do, do you guys actually have a guess, Janin? I have no mm -hmm. idea. No, I have. So this is to pair people on their next flight or cruise or travel. Oh, oh that is pretty cool. Captain Cupid, Ooh, that I can, like that. Yeah, okay, it sounds cool. Yeah, but then if, if yeah, but if it don't work out, <laughs> yeah, like what, if, what if you meet a crazy person? That's what I'm saying. You match with a crazy person while you're traveling. That's mm. a little All scary. right, this one is is definitely for my girl Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Luxy. Lexi? Oh, I've actually mm. been on Lexi before. <laughs> she's, like, okay. she's like, girl, I know that one. <laughs> it's not good? No, good. no, I, I don't have any good experiences with What's, Lexi. Uh, what Lexi's, was it about? Lexi is for, supposedly, for um, established, successful entrepreneurs. Yeah, your parents so. made you successful, your grandparents were. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, well. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's been on it. Yeah. 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 Well, what, so what, you said you had a bad experience. What happened? No, I just haven't really um, met anyone. I just don't think I'm a dating app gal. Aww. Okay, so are dating apps it or, or not? Mm. Mm. I, I was, I would person. say no. I'd rather meet in person yeah. any day. Same. Rich? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think they're a tool, you know, and if you use them for... I don't know. If you I don't use know about, Inder, it, Tinder for sex, yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think right. it's for long. I don't think it's necessarily the best for long-term scenarios. Personally. I mean, I have some. Fr I have a friend who met her guy on Bumble, and they're engaged and getting married this mm -hmm. summer. So I think it's like seventy-five percent bad, and so, the rest is good. Maybe I don't so know. So far, Bumble's definitely on the come up. I've heard the most success success stories recently coming from Bumble. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and Bumble's. The two out of three from mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. All right, well, listen, good luck to Jan and Rich on finding <laughs> their partners. Uh, they're both Cheers available. To that. To that. Yeah. I think what I gathered is uh, Rich needs somebody who's willing to travel with him across mm -hmm. uh, the country and mm -hmm. abroad, potentially mm -hmm. on cruises for um, his comedy shows. Mm -hmm. And my girl Jan needs a man who Stability. is smart, successful, and, and ready funny. to spend money on yes. her Lux life. Yes. <laughs> and also very funny, okay? And funny, too. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. All right, coming up next, I'm going to be swiping right on this Swipe Right cocktail with my girl, Kika Villarreal. You stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about dating apps and the struggles on them. But I tell you what, we've been swiping right on the Swipe Right from Best Regards. And I've got Kika Villarreal in the building to do what? Back that glass up! Come on, come on! Let's okay, it. it's good. I, I'm glad you like it. I mean, we had refills. Y'all didn't see it yeah, on did. camera, ahead, but we too. had refills because it was good. Thank you. All right, so what is in it? Um, it's hibiscus, really. I pressed my own flower, so it's like a really, really good craft cocktail. Not her it's my pressing her own yeah. hibiscus, yes, yeah. Mike. If I go. So Jamaica. Uh -huh. Jamaica juice is what I get, mm -hmm. which is hibiscus for you non-Spanish speakers. Is all, <laughs> all right, boo-boo, so what all do right. I gotta do? So we're gonna start with the juices first. Okay. All right, so you're gonna do an ounce of your hibiscus. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. You've done this before. I have. Live, let's I'm do never 75. Good. Oh, 0. 0.75. 75, she's like 75% of an ounce. Like, Damn and then 0. 0.5 ounces of your agave. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> And then an ounce and a half of your agavadas. Oh, I mean, I guess I could have switched it to it's the okay. two side. It is what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, yep. Okay, perfect. Now, now we're going to add some ice and yes. then shake the bad boy up. Add your lid and shake. This is the one there thing. Uh, this is the one thing. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it, girl. This is a little slippery and slimy. I'm gonna use two arms for this, and I hate. There you go. Oh my hands! Good. Good. That sounds good. All right, best regards. I haven't been there. It's a good date night spot. It like is. 
a Tinder date or something. Can we go there? Are we for doing it? You see how I got her to do it? I suck at that. I can't That's never great. open it. I Sometimes can't I can't either, but we got it on a good date. Yeah, so. yeah, I love it. <laughs> it is a really good date night spot. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's like a nice little upscale bar. Dress up nice. Ooh. That's perfect. You know I want That's every good. single drop, right? Okay, I need you to straw test and make sure that I did a good job. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> did I do a good job? You did amazing. Okay, they want their refills. Like, all right, they didn't need a word. They didn't need a word. All right, listen. Good luck on the dating apps or finding people in real life. Okay. Cheers to that, girl. Thank you. Cheers to that, Cheers and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>